Well, at least it was spring for a couple of days. Now we're back to Mordor again. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. It's March for fuck's sake, what's going on? I hate this weather. Fun thing with this is a bit meta uh, TV now because um, this guy here on yeah. Skype from Colombia yeah. Uh, is helping me now. Uh, this is so fun with this vlog, like people I've not met in years reaches out to me and want to help me. And this guy is one of them. Hey! I don't see anything. You don't have your camera activated. Oh, really? Okay, but we see you. That's more important. Uh, I'm just uh, sharing this uh, work session we're having with the YouTube channel with you, uh, with the viewers. This is the guy. He's doing the best burritos in the world. You got that right? This guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite place in New York, Summers. So unbelievably good. What I like the most about the cold is that you look great. <laughs> is, am I a lion or a human being? So I'm in Manhattan. Uh, it's about 35 minutes left to the gig. I uh, have a really good feeling today because the last couple of gigs I really felt I improved. And uh, the gig yesterday, I did eight minutes, which is the, the longest set I've done. And after the gig, I got two other offers of other clubs. So I'm getting there. I'm slowly, slowly getting there. So let's, uh, let's hope that this will be another uh, step forward. No type of recording is permitted. No smoking at any time. Now, without further ado, let's welcome to the stage your host, your MC, very, very funny guy. He's a regular here. He performs all over the city. Nice round of applause for Doug Adler. So, gig done. Um, I need to whisper because there's another comic on stage. But it um, went really, really good, I think. I had a, a good, good time. Um, but I wasn't allowed to film because, well, it was too dark. I recorded the audio for it, so I uh, will put up something that you might be able to listen to. What a night. What a night. Um, after having a really, really good gig at the Greenwich Comedy Club, I, I'm really going forward. Uh, that's how I feel. After the gig, I went to uh, the cellar, the comedy cellar. I had some drinks, so I'm a little bit tipsy. Uh, I shouldn't say I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I am uh, happy because I went to see my friend, Gina Jashere, a British comic who's amazing, who's uh, living in New York now, doing comedy and doing great. And uh, she closed tonight's show at the cellar. But before her, it was also another great comic, uh, Mr. Louis C.K. And uh, yeah, I'm, I shook his hand, but I was a bit starstruck, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think that's ever happened before. I don't, I'm not so much for royalties and stuff. But that was like saying hello to God, the comedy God at least. And that's the best God, of course. Who else? Saturday morning and I just had a shower, cold one, because it seems every time the, the temperature drops in New York, 
the temperature drops in the shower as well. So it was a refreshing uh, shower um, today. My uh, flatmate has left. She's gone to LA and she's going to San Francisco and some other places. So She'll she be gone. And the other one is also going somewhere on work. So it seems I have this whole place uh, and upstairs for myself for the rest of the month. Um, ah, it's a bit sad. Uh, they're nice people. But then again, to have my own flat in New York is not too bad either. I'm listening to my own set, which I wasn't able to record. Someone said I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I wrote a joke about it. <laughs> Best gig so far. I love that club, Greenwich Comedy Club. I still have a lot of work to do in terms of uh, uh, the way I speak English uh, um, and make it less swinglish and more actually American English. So I might have to work a bit on that, getting an accent on, know what I mean? So, or might just fucking do a British accent, should I? You fucking know what, mate? You what? You having a laugh? Oh, you fake hey, yes. Uh, or maybe a French accent. Maybe I should do it, uh, but uh, then come up with no shoes on stage and uh, just to talk, talk like French. Uh. This is what it feels like when I'm communicating in brackets with uh, some audiences sometimes. But lately it's been going uh, a lot better, so uh, communication skills are improving. Oops. My best friend in New York, this one. A power bank, which keeps my phone um, charged all the time because you're using it so much for directions to find out different clubs and to write and, and do research about jokes and stuff like that. So without this, you're never gonna last uh, a full day without being home charging. And uh, it's really hard to charge in cafes as well as stuff. So this is perfect. A power bank, a comedian's best friend. It would be nice to have a best friend here as well, but this one do. No Brooklyn Brewery for me. It's like a 20 minute queue to buy a beer from Brooklyn Brewery. But then I don't get it. Then you might as well just go into a bar and order it straight away. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid, but I didn't really understand the concept apart from being where it's actually made. But it didn't seem to be anything special apart from that. So. This Saturday I've spent mainly doing nothing, just looking at people, walking around in Brooklyn and uh, relaxing actually, having a day of comedy, even though I've been writing for a couple of hours uh, today as well. There's no time to not do it. And it uh, also comes to me still. So it's uh, a lot of fun, but a relaxed day. <laughs> 